Hey, what is up, YouTube Nation? 10 dog 92 signing back on for another 2023 1 24 scale NASCAR diecast review. I was saying that slowly because it's a 2023 and I've been in the mode of 24s and everything. I believe this is the last. Actually, no, it's not the last. I have one more after this car has been, been reviewed. I have one more big scale um, 2023. Um, I have a Haley Deegan uh, truck. I believe that comes in next month. So look for that next month. Um, but this is um, Denny Hamlin's number 11, FedEx number 11 for Joe Gibbs Racing. This is his race to win version, excuse me, from the Bristol Night Race last uh september i believe it was um now i if you've watched my videos in the past you've heard me say i only buy certain race wins this that and the other um i consider bristol one of the like major wins on the driver's career i don't care what anybody says this is bristol's one of the best tracks on the circuit um even if they've kind of ruined it over the years and everything with the reconfiguration a little bit, whatever. Um, but the Bristol Night Race is so... It's just very pre prestigious on the driver's career, in my opinion. You get all those different cool trophies and everything. You get the sword. You get the big trophy. This, that, and the other. So, um, I believe this is my... Is this I got Larson's Bristol win. So this yeah, I think this is my second like Bristol Night Race diecast in the past couple of years for one of my drivers. Um but yeah, that's why I got this car. And I believe they didn't make that many. This is the elite version. I only buy the elite versions um for the for the cup cars. I don't really find a point in buying anything below the elite version for the cup car these days um that's just my opinion they only made 162 of these things and i got din number 42 so they didn't make a lot of them and denny's had a really like like a lot of times when he's won the car doesn't even get made so this car getting made is pretty cool and in my opinion denny is at like the end like i think he has another year or two in him in the cup series but he's towards the end of his career so even like this year um what are the wins he got he got the clash win that was like a non-points race but i still bought that car that's on pre-order he won the spring race at Bristol this year. That's a, like not as major on the career, but I still bought it. Um, he did he have another win? I don't know. I gotta look. But most of all the the big win or not the most of Ham uh, Denny's wins this year have already been pre-ordered. That's just the point of his career he's at with me, in my opinion. So, anyway, I've been talking too much. This is um, actually quite a clean uh, race twin version for him. Um, they did a really nice job on this paint job, I have to say. I don't know what it is. Like, I mean, that one, I'm looking at another die cast that's a race twin, but it's not as clean as this one, so... This, this one, I don't know what it is. Like, the purple just, like, pops way more. And, um, it, it looks, they did a really nice job. That's all I have to say. You got the yellow, um, banner on the window there because it, it was a playoff race. Hamlin, and then the sh Toyota logo there. FedEx Freight. You got the Toyota logo on the front there. You got a little bit of rubber buildup and debris. 11. So, um, I'm just overall really happy with this car and glad I got it. 
I've also gotten to the point in, like, my collecting, like, collection that I need to get, like, the early wins from my favorite drivers, whether they're retired already or they are still racing are, and are going to retire soon. Like, Larson, I have, like, all of his, like, cars that I need, you know? Denny Hamlin, I didn't review it. I probably should. I'll review it maybe later in the year. But I ordered, or I, I was able to find his first raced win version um, from his first, yeah, his first win in the Cup Series, which was 06, uh, the Pocono, one of the Pocono races. I got that car um, back in the early springtime of this year, and that's a great one. It's in my case right now at the top, but it might go into storage um, because it's like an older car and everything and I had it out for a little while But it's good to have what else did I get this year? I got a couple Dale jr. Budweiser cars because um, I didn't have that I Have Jeff Gordon's first cup win on pre-order. That's awesome Thank you, uh, Lionel <laughs> so it, it's it's really crazy because I've, I've watched NASCAR my whole life and in the fact that I'm now oh, I will be 32 at the end of the year and now that I'm like able to afford to get the older cars um, from like the important stuff early on in my favorite driver's career really means a lot so but down the side here we got uh, 11 the round of 16 logo you got the 75th anniversary logo for NASCAR because last year was the 75th anniversary. 11, I don't know if I said that already, but I apologize if I'm repeating myself. You got FedEx, uh, FedEx, and then FedEx uh, Freight Direct, and a tire mark there on the side by the exhaust pipes and everything. You got sport clips down the side here, more debris buildup, and that's about it. FedEx, and then you got Denny Hamlin's signature above the window net, 11 up top there, FedEx Freight, and then you have three winner stickers on the top of the car there. This one's going to look really nice in the case, guys. I can't wait. Um... On the back here, you got Hamlin. You got the like the NASCAR logo thing, and I'm trying to see if they you guys can see the DIN number. So there it is, 42. You got 0, 0, 42. So they made a hundred and what did they say? 162 or 116? Uh, where's the box? They made 162, so it's a it's a low number overall, but I got a low number out of all of the cards, so that's cool. Um, you got FedEx on the trunk. What do we got here? FedEx.com slash FedEx or slash excuse me slash Freight Direct Toyota 11 pretty clean bumper and then on the passenger side since it is a race one version it is worth talking about and going over i'm just going over it here and you can obviously see the debris and tire marks and build up and on the white and everything it really does stand out nicely you got some marks there below the 11 that tire is all rubbed off and marks and stuff from burnouts and whatnot and some marks there on the front um so yeah guys that is the review of the 2023 1 24 scale number 11 fedex freight direct toyota camry for danny hamlin and joe gibbs racing that's the review of it i did see the mailman come just before when I was filming uh, another video. Saw him put 
uh, box there in the mailbox. So I think I have, I'll have at least one video for you guys in the coming weeks here. Um, at this point, I actually filmed a bunch of videos recently and I haven't put them up because I've been busy. So I will put all these up at once probably. So when you're watching, you're like, oh, well, what are you talking about? They're all up by now. So that's that. Um, but after the car that came today, which it is not a NASCAR, it's an Indy car actually. Another Indy car. It's my sec, uh, third or fourth Indy car on the year in the little scale. But after that one's reviewed and everything i don't have um well i have an order coming in early july and i will probably be reviewing one or two of those maybe i forget and then i have at least one big 124 scale coming in july that i know of for a fact so july might be a little quiet thank you for watching guys and uh see you in the next one enjoy don't forget to like subscribe comment turn a little bell on for every time in the future I upload a video you guys will get notified peace guys have a good one